Welcome everyone to another episode of Reese's Roundup. I am your host, the Lightning Kid himself, and today, football season is still on the menu. Michael Thomas just got big bucks. He is now the highest paid wide receiver in NFL history. In case you guys didn't know, not too long ago, Michael Thomas signed a five-year, $100 million extension with the New Orleans Saints. $61 million guaranteed. Wow. That is a lot of money. Was it worth it? Hell yes! Anybody that thinks otherwise needs to go join the circus. Because you're a fool. <laughs> Michael Thomas, without a doubt, is a top five wide receiver in the league. I mean, yeah, he does have Drew Brees, a Hall of Fame quarterback, one of the best quarterbacks ever throwing him the football. But Michael Thomas is still a beast when it comes to catching and yards after catch. I mean, the guy can be double, triple teamed and he'll still make catches. Let's look at, let's just look at the statistics over his career and let's just see how much he was really worth it. Michael Thomas has a 79.5% catch rate since his rookie season, which is the highest among wide receivers since then. To catch the ball 80, nearly 80% 80 of the time it's thrown to you is ridiculous. Over the course of three seasons, that is insane. He also, also, the fact that Drew Brees and Michael Thomas are pretty much the best wide receiver quarterback combo in the league says otherwise. I mean, like, just proves that. Statistically, they're first in catchable pass percentage, first in completion percentage, and first in passes per uncatchable throw percentage. I know Drew Brees is, an, is a monster when it comes to accuracy, but Michael Thomas still has to make these catches. So these two are like are like wine and cheese, like butter and bread, L like 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 Reese's and Roundup. I, I, I don't know. But listen, these two absolutely had to stick together. Michael Thomas is a fantastic receiver. Um, and per pro football focus. Michael Thomas is the second best graded wide receiver, la was the second best graded wide receiver last season, and he's the second best graded wide receiver over the course of three seasons. So for him to have not gotten paid would have been an absolute kick in the groin, let me tell you that much. But let me know what you guys think about Michael Thomas's contract extension. Did he deserve that money? Leave it in the comments section below. In other NFL news, Melvin Gordon requested a trade. Now, this was obviously due to the fact that he was wasn't getting his um wasn't getting what he asked for. You know, there was just no agreement between both sides and he asked to be traded. Where will he go? I don't know. But uh yeah, that happened. Um in other news, the the Hall of Fame game happened um Thursday. The Broncos ended up defeating the Atlanta Falcons by an amazing game-winning touchdown catch off of a tip. That was that was a beauty to watch. I wish I was watching it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on, it's preseason, guys. Let's let's be real with ourselves here. But no, that was that was a good game. The football season has officially started, and what better way to start off football than with the Hall of Fame game? And you can't have a Hall of Fame game without the Hall of Fame, which happened yesterday too. Guys like Ed Reed. Tony Gonzalez, Champ Bailey, Ty Law, all getting inducted into the Hall of Fame uh, last night. And it was a beautiful show, beautiful ceremony, beautiful, um, just all around great time. And football is officially back, guys. So let me know what you guys think. Leave it in the comment section below and let me know what you guys want to see for the next video. I'm out. Peace.